Hey there, campers. This is our last section in chapter five, and this is the last section of the semester. Right, can you believe it? You are almost done with this class. And then you get to go on to calculus too, which is more fun than this one. And seriously, I liked it actually better than, than Calc 1. Calc 2 is my favorite. Okay, anyway, so we have one more type of uh, function to look at, and that's the inverse trig functions. We saved the best for last. Um, so let's look at the derivatives of arc sine and arc cosine. Let's see if you remember anything. So arc sine, its derivative was 1 over root 1 minus x squared. And the derivative of arc cosine, it was really close to this. It just had a negative sitting in front of it. So they had the same result, just when this arc sine was positive, arc cosine was negative. Well, the other four functions had something similar happen to them too. So when listing the antiderivative that correspond to each of the inverse trig functions, like all six of them, you only need to remember only one member from each pair. So which of the pairs might be the easiest to use? Well, the positives. Because <clears throat> then you don't have to worry about a negative running around in there. So these are the three that we're really just going to focus on. <clears throat> Okay, so let's look at what's in here. We have a u prime over root and a squared minus the u squared. So the u is the actual function, and then the a is just positive, so a is just a constant. <clears throat> so if you have this, if you have the u prime of the u, that is going to integrate into arc sine of u over a plus c. Notice that it's not u squared over a squared, it's just u over a. So you gotta take these two things and square root them. Okay, second one, uh, u prime over uh, a squared plus u squared, no radical down there. It integrates into one over a arctangent of u over a plus c. And then the last one, uh, u prime over u root u squared minus a squared. That becomes 1 over a times arc secant of the absolute value of u over a plus c. So those are your three formulas. So let's go ahead and try some examples with those. <clears throat> So what I usually do when I look at these, I gotta remember, I'm trying to fit uh, one of these three formulas. So for A, it's closest to this one because the constant is first and then the variable is what's being squared and its second is subtracted. So I'm gonna do a couple of things. I'm gonna identify the U squared. So the U squared is the thing that's being squared, the variable. So if that's what u squared is, what's u? Well, u would just have to be x, which means it's u prime is one. And that's what I want to be in the numerator. What a lot of people do is they take the x squared and they take the derivative of x squared and check that. You gotta square root it first, then get the derivative, see if it's up there. All right, so now the constant, the 16, that's actually the a squared, which means a is four. So I have everything I want. I have the u prime on top, um, and it's gonna integrate into this arc sine of u over a. So the u is x, the a is four, and then plus C. Okay, let's try number 19, so, or part B. So we're gonna factor out the 19. We don't need it in there, so just pull it out. And 
And again, you're looking for the U and the A. So the U, I gotta square root this. So the U is 2X, which means the U prime, or what I want the numerator to be, is actually a two. So I, I need to multiply a two to the top to make it a two, which means on the outside I need that one half. And in this case, our A is a five. So the 19 over two is gonna stay right out in front. And now I have the form I want. I have u prime over root a squared minus u squared. So that's arc sine of u over the a. All right, let's try this one down here. So this time there's no radical. So that's gonna lead me to the second one. Uh, I've also got a fraction. So I can always check, just like we did in the previous section, you know, is the derivative of the entire denominator, is that on top? And the answer is no, it's not even close. So it's not an LN. So it's gonna most likely be this inverse tangent, especially since we're in this section. So in this case, the U is X, which means the U prime is one which is what I have, and my a is seven. So this is gonna integrate into one seventh times arc tangent of x over seven plus c. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> so we have a fraction. Is the derivative of the denominator on top? No. The derivative of the denominator is 4x to the third. That's not even close. So let's see if it fits the arctangent. So the u is the square root of this term, which would be x squared. And hey, that's the derivative I'm looking for. And my a is 6. All right, so follow the format. So 1 sixth arctangent of x squared over six plus C. Okay, so I'll stop the video here and we'll try some uh, other problems in the next one.